this is the Lois Wright Show once again. And as you could tell, uh, by, uh, we are in a, a gypsy camp here. And it's uh, very exciting. And uh, I don't know. We, we are obviously, uh, the, the whirlwind took a surprise, surprise, the whirlwind took us off the spaceship. You know I enjoyed being on the spaceship. But uh, it took the whirlwind, brought us right here unexpectedly to a gypsy camp. And uh, so it's, it's, it couldn't be, uh, it's a fantastic change. And uh, Joyce Whitby, the regular on here, that was, uh, is in New York City. So she couldn't be, be on. But gr great news, Judy Sleed, the famous Judy Sleed, is sitting here in the gypsy camp. <laughs> So uh, she's taken on the look of the gypsies. Uh, she's been here a while. Once she said she is a gypsy, so we'll have to investigate that. And um, so we're in the gypsy camp now. Now, Judy, uh, uh, you, you're from Hungary originally. Yes, I'm from Hungary. And my mother used to tell me that she picked me up at, in a gypsy camp. <laughs> oh, my goodness, she didn't. She told you that? Yes, she did. Tell me maybe she did. Yeah, you never know because there's a little bit of gypsy in me. I should say that it seems like a lot of gypsy in you, yes. And yes. This, and, and you had relatives in the theater, too, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes, yes. My, my cousin, my mother's cousin was a famous movie star yes, in Budapest. I, that's what I heard. Yes. And, uh, you know, gypsies have a lot of history. Most people think that they originated in Hungary. <laughs> I thought they, they say they originated in Egypt. That's a mistake. It yeah. was originally, they are from Hindu. They oh. originated about a thousand years ago. Well, I can, no, I can and see And they were that. called the Romans, but uh, people thought yes. that uh, the Roman knee, actually, or something like but people thought they were from Egypt, so that's why they, the name Gypsy comes from that. Oh. Isn't well, that, that interesting? It's very interesting, and very few people know anything about them. So you say they came from India? Originally? Hindu. Hindu, Hindu. Yeah. Well, that's what they think they came from, yeah. And of course, they dispersed to different parts of the world. And uh, maybe that's why they called them the wandering gypsies. Oh, yes. <laughs> they, 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 it's like they, they, people think they love to wander, that the gypsies love to wander. But uh, I, yes. They certainly don't want to stay in, seemingly, they don't want to stay in one place. They don't put roots down. Well, that's because the other people don't let them, don't allow them. So they had a hard time. Well, they, they never got together and had an army like other people do then. Yeah, they didn't. No. They just kept well, moving on. Well, then that's why they keep moving on. They didn't organize for an army like other people do. And uh, they also are famous for uh, making uh, voodoo and magic. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought that was from Africa, the, the voodoo. Well, like making uh, things disappear and oh, telling well. tales and oh. predicting things. And you have this teacup there. I hope you don't expect me to go in there and come out. <laughs> oh, no, I don't expect that. That would be, that would, that would be real Hindu uh, thing to do. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I don't well, think Well, I just want to tell you, I, I don't do tricks like the gypsies do. No, well, that would be hard for a gypsy even. That's, but I that do like, like to India. dress. Do like to dress like a gypsy. Look at my outfit and all well, these. I know. Uh, boob It just seems to come natural to you. Yeah. This gypsy look. Right. Well, right. you must be a gypsy. Maybe your mother was right. Yes. <laughs> And do you know that some famous people, they say they, origin, they were gypsies, like Rita Hayworth? Re oh, she was a great dancer, yes. Yeah, but she was a gypsy. She comes oh. from gypsies and Yul Brenner oh, I didn't and Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin? Yes. Oh. I, they, all these people came from gypsies. Well, of course, uh, you know, they're very talented people, the gypsies, my goodness. 
Yeah. And it, it takes great uh, fortitude, intelligence, uh, and everything else to wander around like that. <laughs> and not work. And no nerve. job. And nerve. <laughs> yeah, nerve too. But you know, we we are beginning to get noticed. I mean, if you come in an outfit like this, who is everybody's gonna look at you, right? I should say so. Yeah. yeah. They always look at a gypsy when she's around or he's around. They yeah. attract attention right away. Yeah. But they they uh, you know, they seem to think that They'll pick. They'll be. They'll steal something out of your back pocket or something. They, yeah. This, this, what do you call them? Pickpockets or something like that. And did you also know that some of the nursery rhymes comes from gypsies? I heard when I was little, more or less. Uh, it, it was in school, though. I was in school, but uh, maybe the maybe the second graders, something like that. And and I love this song. I'll just, <clears throat> I'm singing. I'm not going to sing it. Uh, but it was for children, you know, yeah. like the children. Uh, but it was a real, it's a gypsy song. I maybe a, a band of gypsies we, beneath the spreading tree, we, we play from dawn to dark, as merry as a lark. Oh. I like, and it had an illustration in the book. Right. Uh, of uh, of uh, the gypsies uh, playing, dancing around. Yeah, now, but I was only <clears throat> in the third grade or second grade. That impressed me, second grade. Right. Well, uh, there's another nursery rhyme that I didn't know. I wasn't aware. It's called Hickory Dickory Dock. You know oh, that? I heard that. That came from the gypsies. Oh, I didn't know it came from the gypsies. Yeah. You can certainly tell my little rendition yes. came from the gypsies. And I learned that when you translate that into gypsy language, yes. it's nonsense. It doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't <laughs> mean anything. Well, yeah. well, I don't think that. That just sounds English to me. Yeah, but it came from, uh, yeah, from it's me. like similar. It, they, it derives from a gypsy hmm. uh, nursery. Kids, like you said, they sang a lot of... Uh, rhymes and songs and they're playing. Yeah, they and, like uh, to play and all that, I guess. And previously we were talking about that uh, movie, The Golden Earring. Oh, I love that movie with, yes. with uh, Marlene Dietrich and uh, Ray Milland. Yes. Oh, oh that, I just love that movie. I saw it here in East Hampton. You did? That was many years ago, I guess. 1940s. Uh, Oh my gosh, you lived here in East Hampton in 1940? Yes. Oh. I arrived around 1930. <laughs> no, I wasn't here doing, I wasn't here doing the hurricane. The you great, weren't even born then. I was born in 1928, <laughs> so I was. Oh my gosh. Yes, so I was here. Everyone knows my age, so I don't mind saying how old I am. Well, that's wonderful. Mm. Well, it makes you nervous at times, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in good shape, and you're very right. active. Oh, yes. I, I, my only problem is high blood pressure. Oh. I have high blood pressure and, and trouble with my left eye. And outside of that, there's nothing wrong with me. That's really wonderful. Well, you look healthy. Oh, uh, yeah, I can complain too much. I complain sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should think so. Uh, but nobody's listening. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. You, you, it's better when someone's listening. Look at all those coins on the table, all those gold coins. Well, uh, it, Now, you see, if somebody, we were in gypsy camp and all those gold coins were there, somebody would say, well, who, which gypsy stole those coins? They did a good job. Uh, they did well to steal those coins, or they got those coins from reading palms or something. Yeah, and you used to read palms. Oh yes, at the, at I remember the, uh, you telling Gurney's me Inn. that. Gurney's Inn. Yes, can you still tell the fortune? I never told the fortunes. I'm a, I'm actually an analytical person, and uh -huh. I I I uh, studied it for quite a while. St really studied it, and then I. Uh, uh, tell you what the lines mean. 
but I mean, oh, I don't... so they do have meanings. Oh, of course, absolutely. Heavens, yeah, they, they, you go back to the days that you said that the gypsies came from. I mean, mm -hmm. I, have I said many times that reading palms, it, it's the one study that's never changed over the centuries and centuries. No one argues about where, where the heart line is or where the head line is. Or, it, it always is, it remains the same through all the centuries, and that shows it. And it tells you how long you're going to live? So, well, I don't know. The lines, you can't reorganize the lines in your hand. You can't put your headline where your heart line is or anything. But the lines can get deeper or dimmer. So some people check their hands if they're, to see if any line has gotten dimmer or deeper. I never studied my hands. Well, you've got what a lot of imagination. The planet of the moon is very high. The planet of the moon is here. Uh, and then there's yeah. a Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and the Sun planet. And those planets are always there. And they have never been put, you never put Mercury where Jupiter is. And I think that shows a lot of the uh, authenticity of it is because it's, it's never been argued about and it's never been changed. Any of those planets or lines or anything. With all the different people that read I read, mm -hmm. ha, uh, I, uh, I always called what I do hand analysis because I don't predict that you're going to go to Europe next year. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I don't do that. I can't do that. No, you can't. But you could do a lot of other things. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you said, you could read palms and you could, you know what the lines mean. Well, that's right. They knew that I... So maybe part of you is a gypsy. Well, maybe <laughs> so. That would be great. I'd love that. And then I read the tarot cards, too. And I studied have... the tarot cards. I mean, I studied this like somebody else would study engineering or something. So I... So how come you don't do it anymore? Well, I, I, I was... It was great at Gurney's, you know. It was... It, uh, I was, it was very... You polite. could set up shop. I, 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 what? You, you can set up shop in your home and a lot of people would come to you. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, you don't want to do it? I'm tired of it. I, I stopped going to Gurney's because it was, I, 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 the trip was too much for me. Oh, yeah, it's pretty far. I should say. So, I mean, I was there for, it was like my second home. I mean, I was there for many, many years. So I stopped going. I mean, I have to paint and I have to write too. So uh, are you still writing? Are you? Do you have a? Do you write more with this book? Is there a sequel no, to the I'm Grey Garden? No, not yet. I'm glad you brought it up because I always show my book on the, on mm -hmm. the set. Uh, uh, not well, so. Uh, not the Grey time. Gardens. Yes. Because you were, you lived there once. Well, my life at Grey Gardens, it's a, it's, it's a true and factual book. And yeah, I lived I read there it. over a year. I read the whole book. Oh, well, then you could tell. I have all the dates in there, when this happened and that happened, and when right. Jackie Kennedy went to Russia, and this and that, and all the dates. and, and Yes, uh, and when Edie uh, went to New York. Little Edie went to New York. I oh, forgot. for her eye operation, she had to have a cataract operation. No, she went there for a, an occasion where her movie oh, was well, showing. Oh, well, she, she went there for the, she went to the uh, Plaza, the, the Plaza Theater uh, for, to see the Grey Gardens. Yes. And yeah. she, she it went. It was a and big the, deal for her to go to New York City. Oh, yes, and then, yes. I know, that's all in the book, yes. And then, yes. then she... Uh, I uh, went to Reno Sweeney's to sing a couple of times. Yes. And I went in there to see her singing at Reno yeah. Sweeney's. She did a good job. And you do a lot of paintings. Oh, like yeah. Like you, you did this painting. Oh, yes. I painted that at Grey Gardens. That's Black Jack Bouvier uh, looking like an artist for, instead of a stockbroker. <laughs> but uh, he looks like a gypsy with that. <laughs> I know. Well, to me, the, the Edie Beal is, she's just like a gypsy. They're, 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 Little they're, Edie, uh, they're yeah. They're like... Uh, with that headband she wore all the time. 
Yeah, she could dance to gypsy music. She was, was well, they were very <coughs> theatrical. T uh, Big Edie should never have gotten married, as I always said. I, I, I was, and, you know, she, she should have been in prof out in the professional world. She was a singer. Oh, Big marvelous, Edie. marvelous yes. singer, yeah. Well trained. She trained as a singer. Well, well, now let's get back to you. You're the guest here. I am. You're I'm not gu used to being you're, a guest. <laughs> you're the, I know. You see, you're not talking about yourself at all. You're not, you're, you're not talking about No, you're not used to being a guest. No. And, uh, so yeah. let, let's talk about you now. People are interested because since you now always I are have, the... the uh, I have revealed that I'm, for, I'm a gypsy. <laughs> Well, now, you were born in Hungary, you said. Yes, I was born in Budapest. Well, yes, everybody, I, I watch your show. It's a great show. I Thanks. watch your show, and uh, men are fascinated with it, the men guests, because I've heard one of them say Budapest. Budapest yeah. and all. <laughs> that, like, you know, they were just thrilled that you were from Budapest. And then there was something about a river. I don't, which Danube, river? The Danube which river. Ri which side of the river were you on? A guest asked. Pest. I'm <laughs> from Pest. Oh. I'm a pest. Oh. Not only a gypsy, but I'm a pest. <laughs> oh, you're, it's called Pest uh, in, in pest. Hungary. There yes, is I've Buddha heard that. and Pest, and it, yeah. it separate. The Danube ri River separates. Buddha and Buddha is the hilly part, oh. and Pest is the level. Oh. Yeah, see, you learn something all the oh, time. Oh, yes, well, my goodness. Yeah, huh? the Buddha is the ancient part where all the castles and a lot of history Oh, there. it must be beautiful, yeah. Yes. You were there during the war, I guess. I was. You were a very little child at the time. Yeah, I was a baby. You were a baby, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I swam across the river. <laughs> now, I don't, now that's going, I don't know about that. that how yeah. wide is that river? Well, it's not very wide. It's, uh, you know, they have about six or seven bridges across oh. it. And it's, you could walk across the bridge. You can walk across the, well, yeah, you can walk across the Brooklyn Bridge, but it's pretty well, long. Well, what I mean by that, you know, when you walk across it, it's not that, you don't have to take a rest well, while I guess you're walking. You'd have to take a rest if you walked across that. I've never walked. I don't, I don't know anything about the Brooklyn Bridge, but it, no, it, I wouldn't attempt to cross any of the rivers over the Hudson because they are very long. But oh yes, Hudson, beautiful river, the Hudson. Or the East River. I don't know the East River. Yeah, well, they're both pretty wide. But the Danube, where Budapest is, the river is not that wide. However, you can walk across it without having to stop and rest. Yeah, oh, as you the, said. Yes. Well, what did you? Wh when did you arrive over here? I believe it was 1947. Oh, 1947. That's yes. when I first started to read poems at the Sea Spray Inn in East Hampton. Really? Yes, at the Sea Spray Inn. Do you remember the Sea Spray Inn? You go straight down. Uh, to, it's right at uh, Ocean Avenue, for a little ways past Lily Pond Lane. There's the ocean. It's right on the ocean. Oh, yeah. Well, and so, you've been here a long time, too. Yeah, I always say it. I've been here, like, forever. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good place to be forever. If you're yes. going to be any place forever, I mm -hmm. think East Hampton is the best place to be. Of course, I, I don't know. You might rather be in Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be here in the Hamptons, in East Hampton. It's uh, very well, comfortable. I don't even like to go into Manhattan. Oh, it's heavens like no. A lot of people love it, and I just think it's it's too busy for me. Oh, I, it makes me very nervous. I can't, I don't want to go. I had a one man show at the art in uh, Gra the art, an art place in what is what's that called? National Arts Club in Gramercy Park, and I oh. went in for that. But yeah. uh, outside of that, I don't. It's been years and years since I go to New York City, and I haven't been back since to New York City. It makes me very nervous for some reason. 
Even when I was a child, it made me nervous. Well, I don't know if you're aware of it, but uh, I had written a musical play, and I'm going to have like something like a little concert Where? for Where? the windmill. At where windmill? we live, yeah. Oh, good. Uh, I'm going to play the piano, uh, the music that I had written. Oh, wonderful. And then somebody is going to narrate the uh, story, and we are going to invite all the people in Windmill plus some outside people. You need a bigger place. Windmill 2 is bigger, but... Yeah, in Windmill 2. Oh, in Windmill 2. Oh, you, yes. that's a big place. Oh, well, that's good. I haven't picked a date yet, but uh, I've been working on it, thinking about it for a couple of months. Oh, well, I certainly want to be there. And uh, I'm really excited about it so I could show off what oh, I yes. know. <laughs> show off in person for a change instead yes. of on television. Yes. Well, yes. that's wonderful. Hmm. And uh, what else can we talk about? It, we look, it must look like Budapest here, this set that's so great. This, uh, this place looks like in. Budapest? It must look like Budapest. But you said this was a gypsy camp. Well, it's a gypsy camp in Budapest. <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about dancing. Yeah. I was watching gypsies dance. Yeah. And, you know, they don't hold each other. They just dance by themselves to gypsy music and they have fancy footwork. Oh yes, but, they uh, certainly do. And there do. was a man and a woman dancing, but they never touch, they just dance around each other. Well, well that's good, they started yeah. doing that here too, didn't they, with some kind of music? You know, that's the way I dance and I was wondering if, like, you know, I'm a gypsy, I dance like a gypsy. I dance yeah. by myself. I could dance much better by myself than with a partner. Yeah, when you leave here, you'll, you really <laughs> will think you're a gypsy. <laughs> yes, with all these things, these, all these rings and uh, yeah. bracelets and this just... beautiful... Michael made yeah. this. Yes, he did. That's a, otherwise, but everything you have is yours. You have it's on. a good thing it's not on my head. Oh, it's too, it's because uh, it would crush me. Yes, <laughs> that's right. No, oh, well, you're you're the queen of the gypsies here in yes. this in this uh, place. Right. Well, we hope. I hope Michael we... is a very talented young man. Yes, he certainly is. Uh, we have to do a. Michael a film Dickerson. For, yes, we'll have to do a film for the f film festival. Right. Well, this is this scene is really worthy of the festival. Uh, absolutely. The scenery. Absolutely. Of course, it is. We have a little <coughs> drama. Uh, we won't be talking about <coughs> what we're talking about now. You know, now yeah. it's an interview type uh, yes. program. Yeah. But we'll have just a con we can And then we're going to have somebody in that teapot. No, and I it's don't going to come out. I, would I don't love think we can do that. that. Well, Why you're not? certainly, you have an, this interest in India, all right. Yes, I would love to see somebody emerge from that teapot. <laughs> I, I have a painting I'll have to show you where yeah. the, uh, the person has already emerged and will grant you their, your wishes. Oh, I have a painting of that of that uh, genie. Is that among your uh, collections? Yes. And uh, from India, I put and it says India. I put India on it. I, I paint. I don't. I paint everything. I paint is original. I never, never. I can't stand copycats. I don't copy or. Anything. You had an exhibition recently in Riverhead, didn't you? Well, yes, well, there was a quite a few. It was regarding Grey Gardens, and there was other artists there. Your picture was in Dan's Two paper. Pain, pain. Yes, it was. I like yes. that. I had my, the, I had the jacket on that I wear on wore on the spaceship. On the spaceship. <laughs> yeah, that that jacket's from was I had on. That's the, your spaceship. You have a lot of different outfits for your show. Well, not much. No, I mean, what do I have? I don't, you know. I have this jacket, but no, 
No, I don't have a lot of outfits. I just happened well, to... Well, you had different scenes for your show. You had the uh, Old West and the spaceship oh, and yes. now the gypsy. That's right. And I have, uh, yeah. out of space. <laughs> out of space, yes. Yeah. I, yeah, it's a funny thing. Joyce Whitby, that's the regular, does uh, never dresses uh, in the part. No, so she, I mean, you you come on the on the whirlwind to say the spaceship uh, from the present, from now, from yeah, and and mm -hmm. uh, some people go into the go get right away and get into the clothes of the place they landed in. Yeah, and other people now J Joyce Whitby. Uh, she always never. She never does that. She never does. No, I think yeah. once she put a cowboy hat on or something <laughs> on, on the old West show. She was the pig farm on it. I was on your show once before when it was the old West, and I remember pointing a gun at you. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Well, I must have. I had those camp pistols on the table. Yes. Yeah. The old Western. Type that used yeah. to, they used to sell, well, I guess they still do, with the 10 cents. And you took a picture of me, and I remember sending it to somebody, and they got insulted that I was pointing a gun. Oh, for heaven's sake. So difficult. Yes. Well, times. Yeah. It's all, it's, they, you know, it's all, it's just theater. I don't know why yeah. they get mad, you know. Right. I mean, that's all. Well, it is. only people who are in the business know about that. Like showbiz people yeah. would understand. Yeah, they're right. But <laughs> the people on the outside don't know what showbiz people do. No, they don't. We have a different language. That's right, yes. Our show is coming to an end. Oh, my Joyce, goodness. Yeah, J Judy Sleet, it's been a pleasure to have you on. Judy oh, it's Sleet. Been so much fun. I love your shows. And another thing I want to say is that you gave a wonderful tribute to, uh, you know, uh, that, uh, for the gypsies. No, Vic Teich. You, you, I, I, the, your tribute to, to Vic Teich after he passed on. No, was, you're talking about Lee Davis. Vic Lee. Teich? No, Vic Teich. No, Vic Teich. I, I'm talking about the wrong one, am I? Yeah, Lee Davis. Lee, Lee Davis. Lee Davis, yes. I miss him terribly. He was such a darling wonderful person. Well, Vic Teich, wasn't he the one that said Judy, Judy, Judy on your show? No, that was Lee Davis. Vic Teich, he passed up. Uh, oh, a long time ago. ago. He, no, he, it was about two years well, ago. Well, he directed my show, and, and, yeah. and so did uh, Lee, Davis. Lee Davis. directed Lee Davis, Lee Davis. yeah. Well, I you paid, I'm glad you straightened that out, thank heavens. You straightened that yes. out. Well, I, I thought your tribute to uh, yeah, Lee Davis. Lee Davis yes, was, I did. was wonderful.